So I'm not saying that he was all that good, but compared to what we have right now, how, he's he's in there. If, how if, would that how would that piss off Ben? He's already got his Oscar. That's right. If, if, right for writing. Yeah. If somebody puts an Oscar in Casey Affleck's hand, it better have chocolate inside of it. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. See, the thing is, is that is like, I think, um, for psycho Christians, that's the seventh seal. That once you give Casey <laughs> Affleck that Oscar, the skies open up and I know, it rains blood. Yeah, frogs and... are going to rain down if he gets an Oscar. <laughs> but I, you know what? I'm with Corey on this, though. He deserves a nomination. Yeah, I didn't say he should win, but I think he should get a nod for that. Nobody, really should, good. nobody should get nominated unless they should win. Y'all, y'all are always like, well, he should get a nomination. He shouldn't win, but they should like tell him he, I think he, he's going to win. Well, I think that there's going to be better performances coming out. But right now, as of right now, he's one of the best performances I've seen this year. And there's not too many other performances I can say that about. So. I just, I just, you know, while I see what Carla is coming from with the, you know, this is the role of a lifetime for this guy. And that's true. So was Bill in Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure for Keanu Reeves. That was yeah. the role he was born to play, but I don't think he should have gotten an Oscar for it. Just because that's who he but is. That's the, but hold on. That wasn't an Oscar-style role. You know, if Bill he and Ted's Excellent Adventure had been a, a meaningful, you know, devil, you know, evolution of, you know, the human spirit, Wait, then maybe. But come on, it was, it was not? dick jokes in a, in a phone booth. Now you're being silly. See, now, that's the title of my biography, and I really don't appreciate that. <laughs> I just maybe I just connected with uh, Casey Affleck because I love that Looney Tunes cartoon with that little dog and that big dog. Hey Spike, what are we gonna do today? Hey Spike, what are you, let's go do something today. And like that's how Casey Affleck was. Hey, what, hey Jesse, what are we gonna do today? Hey Jesse, who we gonna shoot today? Hey Jesse, what bank we gonna rob? It's oh. like you know I was waiting for like uh, uh, I was waiting for what's it Brad, uh, Brad I was waiting on Brad Pitt turn around and smack, just shut the fuck up. <laughs> well, that's that, there's that great scene right at the beginning of the movie when you've got uh, what uh, Sam Shepard. Sam Shepard and and he's just Sam like Shepherd? yeah, yeah Sam Shepard. He's he's Frank Jesse. James. He's Frank, Frank James, Jesse oh. James' brother, and he's just like, boy, you're you're creeping me out. I'd, I'd <laughs> like it if you go away. <laughs> he's how I yeah. felt about that character the whole film, but in a way that it just wasn't fun watching him. I was like, dude, will he please? Can't someone else assume his identity? And you know, then, isn't there some other less annoying actor who can kill him and pretend to be him and then assassinate Jesse but, James? But I, I do have to say though, I, I I'm fully in understanding why Cyrus doesn't like this, and this is a movie that I can't recommend to everybody. This is a movie that you have to know what you're getting involved with. That you you're walking into an almost three hour slow f- historical film. Set in the old west, that is a character study, and it's a slow character study. No, you're right. It, it, you, it is the the movie that separates like the real film buffs from the people who just like movies. <laughs> I mean, I mean, you know, oh. no offense to you, Cyrus, oh, but yeah. but I mean, it's the kind of thing like like you know, people who are real film buffs can get into a slow movie like this and enjoy all the parts of it. Where you know, a guy who just likes movies is just like. This is boring. I want to go see 310 to Yuma. I, which, you know, I'm not going to put down 310 to Yuma because I love that movie. Hey, you going to let him talk about you like that, man? Hey, you know what? <laughs> I, was saying, hey, I think you guys all have some father abandonment issues he's, or something. He's absolutely <laughs> correct because that's exactly how I felt about Transformers. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the, the, the thing is, like, Westerns are all, most of the time are about honor. I mean, like, 310 to Yuma is all about honor. And this movie was in the reverse way where it was about, you know, the lack of honor and then the price you have to pay for that. The well, wages of it. You know, I ain't gonna even go as far as he did because he's trying to start shit with you. Man. I you, know he is. You, what you, the you hell? know, I, I respect you as a man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> as so a I'm, critic, forget it. But, but as a man, <laughs> but as a critic, you a bitch. But as a, I'm a no, 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 I'm not gonna even say that. I, I myself was watching this, and the whole time I was thinking. Not everybody's gonna like this, and I just and I'm not what even taking a snobbish approach. I just like I like it for some reason. I can't really explain why. Some other people won't. And as a matter of fact, there was this girl in there. She was looked to be about 19, 20. Like right when the movie stopped, she just got up and proclaimed to the theater, "That was the most boring movie I've seen all year." And I said, "Shut your goddamn ass down!" <laughs> did bitch. you say that? I, no, I did. I uh, wish I had. So, C. Cyrus, you just like yeah, a nineteen-year-old no, girl he, he that knows that nothing later. about movies. Wait, say again. So, C. Cyrus, you just like a nineteen-year-old girl that knows nothing about movies. Man, you gonna uh, let him keep? You gonna let him keep capping on you like well, that, man? He oh. is because you know both of them went home with Corey after the movie. Oh wow, man, that's a long way. I know. Shit, man. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I hope you're proud of that, man. <laughs> he took the three. Tend to humor to bring that joke back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not used to having to get Leon with something. I got nothing built up in my repertoire of Leon jokes. I, know, I got yeah. well, lots of Corey and Carlisle ones. I wrote the book. I started the encyclopedia of how to put down these two. Yeah, but and Leon, the rest of us got hobbies. I got a pamphlet. <laughs> yeah, see, that sneaky son of a bitch over there. You weren't ready for that, Came were you? Came up and got me from behind. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> like Robert Ford. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all of a sudden, this is broke back mountain. Yeah, yeah it's the assassination of Cyrus <laughs> by wish the I, coward Leon. <laughs> I wish I could kick you. 
<laughs> but no, nah, you know, I'm going to give this movie, uh, I am going to give it full price because I do think it's a very well-made movie. And I think it's just a bold movie for taking the approach that it took, which is being a very slow film because really not everybody's going to like it. And I understand exactly where you're coming from because I understand you as a man. Why, thank you. I don't know where to go with that at all. That kind of grosses me out, quite honestly. But uh, I t- even told these guys, Cor- Corey and Leon, ahead of time, look, go see it for yourself because I think it's one of those movies some people yes, are going to like. You were very I, fair about that. I just am not one of those people. This, for me, I'll, it'll be too soon if I ever see this again. Damn. Yeah. I just bored the crap out well, of Well, I'm me. sorry they didn't have superheroes in this movie. They were wearing capes and shit. But you I, know, man, this is an adults movie right here. I just want the man who loved Spider-Man 3. If, just, if there's no me? superheroes or people dropping acid, I just don't see the depth. <laughs> you know, I'm messing with you. Go on. What Screw movie? you guys. I love Spider-Man 3, too. <laughs> but uh, you know what, Cyrus? I, I really, like Corey said, I can't fault you for it. I can see why you wouldn't like it. I can see why a lot of you wouldn't like it. It makes it hard for me to recommend it to people. But there is you know, people out there like myself who will really like this movie, even love it. And I can't even explain everything and why I loved it, but I did. But still, I'm going to say matinee just because they really could have tightened this up. And you're right about that. <clears throat> I didn't give any criticism about this movie, but... They there were points where they could have edited that movie down, and yeah. they should have. Yeah. Well, you know, actually, there there was a huge fight in the studio between the studio and the the director. The director wanted it to be, you know, a huge long epic, and the studio finally buckled. But they wanted they wanted it to be tightened up. They agreed. And you know what? I I think uh, this. You know what? I really like this movie, but you, that that is a that is a strong point in criticism. And I think the fact is, this would probably be the perfect director's cut for this movie. And that for most audiences, it probably need to have about forty five fifty minutes shaved off. But I'm still going to say that it's. Uh, I think it's a full price, but a full price for people who have listened to us all the way through and know what they're getting into. Why didn't they just become a western and put a gun up to the director's head and say, "You gonna edit this shit down?" All right. I mean, because really, come on, I can't fault you for not liking it, man. Because it really is. Well, this was well. directed by James Mangold, who did. Um, what did he do before this? Some uh, no, no, Tin and Yuma was James Mango. Oh, was yeah. it? Who, yeah. who did this? This was. I don't remember. Oh God, this was somebody. Ivory. This was this was somebody. <laughs> this is something that we should probably look up. But no, this was the, no. This was a. This is a big time kind of. This is a big deal that this is. His yeah, film, I'll look so. and see. Yeah. Yeah, the director's name is Andrew Dominic. He directed Chopper before, so it's not like he directed something big and epic I, before I this. He had, he had done something. Like really big. It's like, Maybe he did, and they said this shit is too long, and they took it away from him. <laughs> but you know, it's like the assassination of the editor for this movie right here. But uh, there's the joke is you know that you should know right from here. Come back in, record. I've got, I've got a. He is recording. That's what I am recording right now. Oh well, no. Um, uh, you should know from the title. I mean, when it takes you like three minutes to get the title out of your mouth, how long is the movie going to be? There's a long. <laughs> That's time a good point. <laughs> it's a long time to exactly. wait to see a dude get shot. You know? Yeah, you know, you'd be at you be at the box office and like I'd like to see the assassination of Jesse James by the person behind the box. <laughs> first by the person behind the box office, like shit, take your ticket, we're gone, man. I know what you're talking about. And, and while after he says that, you're still saying by the coward Robert <laughs> yeah, Ford, like, go on the 15th of May, you know, 1974. It's, it's I'm funny not. because with most movies, by the time you finish the title, a title like that, the movie would be over. But this one is only just getting started. Yeah, there's <laughs> yeah. a line around the block of people trying to get in just because they're trying to say the title for this movie. Opening <laughs> credits are like the first. <laughs> hour <laughs> i like to see this you know how long that scene at the end of the good and the bad and the ugly is where it just seems like it takes forever it's how long it takes to say the uh, that was that didn't work can they just call this movie jesse james i, I shot jesse james the assassination of jesse james uh, the yeah. title is great the way it is because it does sum up the film it's a yeah. long ass title to get time to get to a point all right but it does show you i mean that that long title makes you know that like the focus is not Jesse James, it's Robert Ford. That's who this is about. And it's also telling you that, you know, it's going to be really fucking long. <laughs> I, not, not that we need to record this, but wasn't it funny how, like, like the two guys could, like, shoot at each other, and they were, like, this close and couldn't yeah, right. they couldn't hit <laughs> And, it was and like, yeah, Robert Ford could be across the room anywhere. Just, it was like police was squad. <laughs> yeah, it was police squad. <laughs> like, That's that, funny. That, that. That, yeah, there's a scene in this movie where there's a shootout, and I think it's the coolest shootout I've ever seen because these sons of bitches are, like, three feet away from each other, <laughs> and they're, like, blind people in a, in a gunfight. They can't hit shit. I know. You hear the horse outside. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, you hear that cat when he's, you know, <laughs> 
<laughs> you know, <laughs> Yeah, you see it like, come on, are you all fucking Ray Charles and Stevie Wonder shit? It's like that scene in Pulp Fiction where the guy comes out of the bathroom and just... Yeah, you're just, you're just waiting at the end for somebody to go, you know, that was divine intervention, motherfucker. <laughs> you know, yeah. as clumsy as these guys are with guns, it should be more like the assassination of Jesse James by the coward Gerald Ford. <laughs> <laughs> the assassination of Jesse James by the, the klutzy Robert Ford. <laughs> The accidental assassination of Jesse James. <laughs> oh, the gun went off. They should have called this shit the assassination of Jesse James by the Fort Pinto. He should have just drove up and, and ran over that motherfucker. <laughs> okay, now we've gotten silly. Oh, uh, well, yeah, like we weren't before. <laughs> but anyway, all right. All right. What well, is funny when they kill Damn him? Oh, well, no, I'm just, oh. I mean, it wouldn't be funny on there, but.